Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you a real simple way to play imports on your Sega Dreamcast, as well as give you an overview on some really nice features on a couple of different peripherals here concerning the usage of Sega Saturn, as well as PlayStation controllers with your Sega Dreamcast. Here are the boxes for the adapters. First we have the EMS Total Control 3, and uh, this one will allow you to use your Sega Saturn controller on the Dreamcast. And the EMS Total Control Plus, which gives you the ability to use PS1, as well as PS2 controllers on the Dreamcast. So, very nice. And here are the actual adapters themselves. And you'll notice um, there's the VMU. Both of these do have ports on the side, so you can uh, connect your Dreamcast VMU that way. Very nice. And uh, on the side of them, you'll see toggle switches here. And uh, basically, these will allow you to sort of alternate between, you know, various button mapping configurations. And that can be incredibly useful depending upon what type of controllers you have connected to these adapters. And I'm going to grab a couple of them really quickly to show you exactly what I mean. Alright, got a few controllers to assist me in describing the different button mapping configuration settings that these adapters have to offer. And uh, first, here's the Sega Saturn Twin Stick, a well sought after item. And uh, yeah, only a handful of games featured support for this. Of course, the original Virtual On, uh, Gundam Gaiden 2 and 3, and Gun Griffin 2 as well. But the sequel to Virtual On was ported to the Dreamcast. And uh, if you don't have the Twin Stick that was released for the Dreamcast, you can use this uh, Total Control Adapter 3 to uh, use your Saturn Twin Stick to play that game. Let me turn the light on, it's kind of dark, but yeah. You can see there's the uh, Twin Stick mode, just flip over to that for Virtual On. And uh, back to the original uh, Joystick or Saturn Control mode there. Now, the EMS Total Control Plus features uh, three different button mapping settings. Um, one for uh, steering wheel and um, one for just your standard uh, PlayStation controller, the way the buttons are arranged on it. And uh, finally a third for a uh, PlayStation arcade stick mode, so if you want to use something like this Mayflash stick, um, yeah, the buttons are all mapped out how they would be, um, you know, with your uh, six button arcade controllers. So, yeah, the Saturn only has uh, one setting for uh, both the uh, regular pad as well as uh, arcade style joystick like this uh, HSS 136 and uh, the reason being for that is basically just because if you take a look at the Sega Saturn control it's uh, it's perfect for arcade games right uh, versus fighting games you got weak medium fierce um, for your punches and kicks and um, you know for uh, beat em up games where you've got your uh, jump um, maybe a, an attack, a magic, or a strong attack. It's perfectly laid out just like a uh, arcade control panel or arcade stick would be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's really no need to have a different setting on there since the um, both the controls are arranged exactly the same way. Sort of the problematic feature when you're using like a PS1 or a original Dreamcast control and you're trying to play um, ports of uh, JAMA arcade games, you know, you run into the issue where uh, for instance, a versus fighter, you know, you've got your uh, weak attack, medium, and then you'll have to use your fierce up here. And uh, it's just not so comfortable. Works the same way with the Dreamcast, you know, uh, weak, medium, uh, fierce, or strong here. And uh, also for beat em ups where you want to have like three buttons laid out, uh, like the Saturn does to uh, imitate like a real arcade setup, uh, arcade stick, you know you're going to run into issues there. It's not so comfortable to play like one, two, and then three here. It doesn't feel exactly, you know, quite right. So I thought it was pretty cool with the uh, EMS uh, Total Control Plus that they added in that uh, button map uh, setting for, you know, not just the uh, regular PlayStation Control, but uh, arcade button setup as well. And to uh, further illustrate that point, we're looking at the Power Stone 2 manual for the Dreamcast. Of course, this was uh, originally a Naomi arcade game ported to the DC. And uh, you'll notice if you're using your standard Dreamcast controller, uh, the buttons will be mapped quite differently as opposed to using the uh, Dreamcast arcade stick. So, uh, see, in this weird kind of diamond formation, you'd have to use uh, your uh, A as a uh, jumpu, and then uh, jump, and then, you know, X, attacku, 
uh, your B is your action, and uh, your uh, Y is uh, item o steru, uh, item throwaway. So um, yeah, not really ideal playing it that way. Uh, much more comfortable with the uh, Dreamcast um, type arcade stick. Um, I don't have one of those, so um, you know I'm using my um, Virtua stick. And um, for the Saturn through uh, one of my adapters, the Total Control 3. But uh, if you don't have this stick, um, you, uh, you know, have a PlayStation 1 or 2 joystick, perhaps, and you have the uh, Total Control Plus, then um, that, uh, that extra arcade stick button mapping um, toggle switch there really helps you out a lot. You know, of course, if you have a Dreamcast arcade stick or you're using the, the Saturn Arcade Stick gamepad, you know, like I just mentioned, with the uh, Total Control 3 on the Dreamcast, you know, you don't have to worry or think about any of that, but, uh, you know, if you have a PS1 or a PS2 Arcade Stick for arcade games you want to play on the Dreamcast, and uh, a PS1 or PS2 DualShock pad that you want to use for non-arcade style Dreamcast games, uh, it's nice that that uh, Total Control Plus you know, it has that um, toggle switch, so you can have uh, both button mapping styles uh, for, you know, different types of games that you want to play using uh, PlayStation controllers on the Dreamcast. Okay, so here's the Innovation Super Game Converter Disc, and going to be showing you it in action running Power Stone 2, great Capcom arcade classic ported to the Dreamcast. It's quite simple to use. Just uh, open up your console. Here's the actual converter disc. Safely insert it. Power the console on. And it will, uh, after loading up, display this icon of a disc with an uh, up arrow. So, uh, yeah, you know it's time at that point to open the console up, remove the converter disc, and insert your game disc. I can open this with one hand. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Quite simple and a very cost-effective way to play imports on your Dreamcast console wherever you may live. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this video, you're probably quite familiar with the fact that Power Stone 2 is an excellent game so I don't really need to tell you that but yeah, just a fantastic title with immense replay value get our start button and got uh, the Saturn and PS2 controller working with the adapters Start it up. Welcome to the power and I'm not going to be doing any gameplay, it would be pretty difficult with one hand, but just to show you these uh, controllers running on the adapters, let's go down to arcade. Fight for your freedom. 
escape from the castle. And uh, on the May Flash joystick here, uh, button 10 kind of functions as the start. Our cast of characters, in case you're not familiar with them. But yeah, as you can see, uh, both controllers working. So uh, pretty nice little adapters with some cool features and a really nice uh, little import converter as well. Works quite simply and yeah, pretty cost effective too. Yeah, appreciate you checking out the video. So definitely talk to you soon. Bye for now.